Ah, Kelly's Island. There is a little bit of Ohio's history around every corner and at the end of every road. Let's take a quick walk through the oldest part of Kelly's Island Cemetery. Established in 1854, a local man named McDonald was hired to clear the lot. When officials took him to task for carelessness in his work, he replied that he didn't care. He didn't expect to be buried there. John McDonald was killed in a blasting accident at the island quarry shortly thereafter. He was the first man buried in the cemetery he built. Scattered among the monuments, you can find old island names. Dwelly, Coster, McGettigan, and Kelly. Some monuments have been damaged by the ravages of time. Others mark the final resting place of the island's Civil War soldiers. Too many honor the memory of lost children. There are many unique headstones here. Yuri Ward's final resting place is marked with a glacial groove and a plaque. The Twidney Monument is metal. Others show the beauty of an artisan's craft. Take a stroll through the island cemetery. Who knows, you might find a long-lost relative here. Even though these people are long gone, their voices are not silent. They are still telling their stories, in their own words. The record of their lives can be found in the books written by Leslie Karenko. These books are a personal history of these families and this unique island.